I know of a, of a student, of a student of mine who went overseas to study and he went to go uh, memorize Quran and he went, I won't mention the country, but he went to this small country in, in Africa and in this country, he had to go to this tiny village where all this village does. The village has 200 people in it and they live in tents. They don't even live in homes. Uh, the only permanent building there is this one small building in which foreigners who are visiting get to spend the night. Otherwise, everybody sleeps outside under the stars or they sleep in tents. It takes 16 hours to get to this village, This literally this little tent city of 200 people, 16 hours where you have to go in these big SUVs and you go over these huge rocks. When you get to this uh, little town, I, I feel weird even calling it a town. It's not a town, but you, you get the idea. When they get there, when people get out of the cars, the first thing the villagers do who've come to greet the people is they step back because they know the second people get out of the car, they're going to throw up because the drive is so difficult getting there. This is a kind of village. It's completely off the map. It's in the middle of nowhere. There are no towns around it. So this child went there to memorize Quran. All night, they say it's like bees humming. You just hear people reciting Quran throughout the night because in the daytime it's so hot. So people do their memorizing at night. It takes, there's, there's no electricity there. At, people walk around with gas lanterns. There's one generator and there's one outlet. It takes three days to power up a phone. There's one person in this community who's in charge of taking your phone. He will power your phone for three days, and then he will give it back to you. This boy told me that in that environment, boys who were memorizing Quran would take their cell phones. They would go up into the mountains. They would go like this. They would find a signal, and they would watch pornography. So there's literally nowhere to escape it.